Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another episode today. This is going to be a look at a random pile of Mookie Betts cards that I had laying around and haven't seen the light of day on the channel, so I figured I'd group them all together, show them off here, and get them filed away in my uh, already shown on YouTube box. So it's a totally random stack. The only thing these had in common is that they're all Betts cards. You know, obviously being a Red Sox collector, he was one of the better players on the team for quite a while and would always kind of gravitate towards picking up some of his stuff on the cheap when I was browsing around Com C. Um, this is one of those that from Topps Heritage that pays tribute to the 68 Topps game cards, so pretty faithful remake there. And uh, before we get too far into the stack, I wanted to point out in the background here, again, this um, beautiful booklet card of Dustin Pedroia, um, autograph and game-used bat that I received from the great Pepino Man, Recently, um, I did send uh, send Caesar a, a picture of this, but wanted to show it here on the channel as well. Went and picked up a booklet magnetic with a stand there so I could properly store this thing and appreciate it and put it on display in my home office. So it's uh, serving as the background today, but it has a place of prominence on my bookshelf here in my home office. I, I work out of my house most days, so uh, really, really appreciate that one, uh, Pepino. That was just so awesome, and uh, it was good to give that guy a home. With the uh, ple the present day uh, supply crisis going on in the hobby, it is like $15 to get one of those, but um, it was definitely worth it, and it looks just absolutely stunning. So thanks again for that one, Pepino Man, and uh, we'll get back to the Mookie Bets here. So a nice shiny one here, numbered out of 150. Um, I know this was a Com C pick up back in the day. I don't know what this set is, if it's Tribute or Triple Threads, uh, something with a T, uh, but a cool shiny bets there. Anytime I see, or at least back in the day, saw his cards, you know, serial numbered for cheap coin, I was kind of just a sucker for those. Um, here's one of the cool photo variations that Topps has done over the years. This is from the All-Star Game, and uh, has George Springer there in the background with Mookie lining up along the uh, foul line before the game. I'm, I'm a total sucker for those image variations. There's a very loud and noisy insert. Um, I think I got this in a care package or a trade package. Don't think I would have uh, paid up for this one myself, but won't turn down any new Mookie Betts card that I receive. Here's a uh, big league. This is a gold, which were like one per pack parallels, but this was a really fun set. Tops big league. It seemed like one that kids could... Uh, Collect and uh, love the photograph here on the Betts card. Chasing down a close to being a home run ball on the warning track there in right field at Fenway. Uh, here, this is based off of, it's a heritage insert. I think it was based off of like transigram cards that came out in the late 60s. Um, but these are kind of neat. It's a somewhat early career Betts and uh, not anything valuable, but I just like the, the take on the retro design there. Uh, here's one out of Panini's unlicensed uh, Chronicles product, I think it was, that I actually love. A score card of Mookie that harkens back to those early 90s uh, score subsets for the All-Stars that had the caricatures of the players. I love those cards. Um, still gravitate towards them to this day, and I appreciate the modern take on that from Panini. Um, this one was from National Baseball Card Day in 2019, that promotion where you could you know, get a free pack of cards at your local hobby shop. So that's kind of a cool oddball there. Here's a insert that, again, I don't think I paid up for this one myself. I think I received it in trade. Flashiest feet. Um, I, you know, I don't really get that. If you can explain that to me, feel free to leave a comment below. But it's another one that moves the bets counter up by one. That's why I have it. Um, this one is a sticker from the top stickers release. You can actually see the back features Hunter Renfro. It's another random kind of pointless insert. They just lumped Ted Williams and Mookie Betts together on a card because they're uh, both power hitting outfielders for the Red Sox. That's about all the thought that went into that one, as far as I can tell. There's an awesome shiny one here. This is like a pink fireworks parallel out of Donruss, an elite card. This was like a dollar, and I still think they're like a dollar. Not really valuable, but man, is it easy on the eyes. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. In fact, we'll see if that one will uh, cooperate here in the background. Oh yeah, I think so. Um, those those just look stunning in person, licensed or not. 
Uh, this is totally random. This is from like uh, one of those on-demand releases, I think. I don't really get the point of it, uh, but it has um, some tie to Direct 360 wine pairings. And then it, you know, it's got Mookie on it, but it also features Ribera del Duero, which is a slick and silky smooth wine, apparently, that rarely, rarely disappoints. And we have a bottle of it on the front. So I, I just got this one, I guess, because it was too strange to uh, not pick up a card of Mookie with a random bottle of wine. So there you go. Thank you for that, Tops. And then here's a cool insert out of Heritage. This is one of those scratch-off inserts. Um, these used to come with your cards in the early 70s, and you could actually play a scratch-off game against an opponent um, using like a coin, and you have the instructions here on the back. So I've just preserved this one in, you know, booklet format since I received it, but that's one of the more unique random bets items in my small collection of the guy. I, I must have, you know, easily a hundred or a couple hundred bets cards at this point. Um, I have two others that I pulled that are a little more significant to go with those random ones. The first is a slab that I got a total steal on years back. Um, huge fan of the Future Stars uh, inserts in Topps Chrome, both baseball and soccer, and managed to get this bets from 2016 Topps Chrome in a PSA 9 for like $20. And not only that, but this is the green refractor version, and it is actually hand numbered as such out of 99 copies so pretty cool you know a little bit random addition to the bets collection but for the price point um and, and just the cool shine element of this card and it being a design that i love you know year after year um decided that i would uh, show that one off and then last but not least a very significant card i think that you can still get you know at a a relative bargain but it's a second year bet so i'm I'm really into second year cardboard of these star players. I've, I've mentioned this a few times and uh, I keep failing to get around to it, but I actually have a planned series called second year standouts or something along those lines. That's, you know, going to be entirely dedicated to second year cards. Uh, but in this case, we have Mookie's second year out of tops and it is the gold parallel. So one of the most beloved parallels, you know, among collectors that goes back all the way to the early nineties. Um, every year it is, you know, numbered, serial numbered to the year of release. So this is uh, kind of cool. It's only the fourth copy off the print line. Um, so just a really cool car there, you know, still has the future stars logo along the top, which is, you know, something that dates back to the eighties for tops and a really nice image there of Mookie post cut. Um, so I'm a, a huge fan of his 2015 uh, Topps card in its various parallels like this one and same goes for his 2015 Topps Chrome as well I have uh, one or two of those that I'll be showing off in another installment But we're up over eight minutes here today of uh, Mostly Mookie bets other than uh, that sweet Pepino man booklet, but um, Just wanted to show that bunch off. So he's a very exciting athlete I think you know for some reason he had a slightly down year last year and a lot of people seem to be kind of down on him as a result I don't necessarily understand it. I, I still think he's an extremely talented player that is on track for the hall. And even in last year's down year, he had a lot of doubles and, you know, had a pretty successful season by, you know, a standard that most players would judge themselves by. So um, he's one I'm excited to keep an eye on in the coming year and uh, happy to have this batch of cards uh, while I do so. So I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for joining me at this, uh, for this look at some Mookie. And I'll certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.